Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, July 14th to the 15th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this video resonates with you. I'm going to get a channel to message in these two. Okay, just one moment here, Cancer. What's going on here? Okay, we have the Fool, Cancer. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so let's see what Spirit has for you today, Cancer. <sighs> Allow yourself to come alive inside, Cancer. Find, hmm, find the tiniest joy. If, say that again, spirit. Find those tiniest spaces of joy and soak in them. You're, they're making me feel very, very weighed down, Cancer. You're, I almost feel like it's depression. I almost feel like, because um, I suffer from depression and anxiety at times, right? So it's like it feels heavy, right? It, it weighs you down. So spirit saying, find those tiniest spaces within you that bring you joy. And start from there because the more that you give into that energy they're saying the more it you'll keep sinking into it okay oh I'm really feeling it cancer in my um, like my solar plaque my lower chakras yellow orange and red Wow uh, okay. Oof. Oh, that's funny. I just shuffled the deck again, and it's the same thing on the bottom, the Emperor. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, you're trying to heal from something. You're trying to get out of this energy. Similar to Leo. I don't know if you have any Leo in your chart. It's not the same, but it's similar. Where you're in this prison of your own making. You're going round and round and round in your head about something, right? It could be about a betrayal, about somebody lying, or an ending. It just could be just period, an ending that's taking place. And you're not sure... You're not sure how to move forward, how to take this leap of faith forward because you're not even sure about what direction you're headed in. So I feel that you're piecing out, which is a good thing. Piecing out and going within and trying to figure your shit out. Trying to figure where your, where your footing is, where that foundation is, and what direction you want to head in. I'm not sure if this is career, love, or both. I, I kind of feel it is love based tell me about this four of swords 
Now, when I say love, it could be anything, right? It doesn't have to be a romantic love. It could be familial love. It could be friendship, right? The King of Swords is clarifying the Four of Swords. You may be thinking about what needs to be cut out of your life. I feel like there's some sort of decision. It's either the decision that this was ended or the decision to cut out something, someone from your life, or both. Something, some decision happened. All right, tell me about the Fool card. Queen of Swords, now we have a pair. Interesting, that's why the Emperor was at the bottom twice. Because you are doing your best to, to balance your masculine and feminine energies. You are trying so hard to, to know the direction that you're headed in, to be certain that you're, you're heading in the right direction, right? I feel that the uncertainty lies with what you do need to cut out of your life. Because perhaps there's something that you don't, but you know you need to. So this is why you're taking on this King of Swords, Queen of Swords attitude, because they're more logical. They're more, I mean, your water energy, right? Your cups, your heart. So in order for, for you to cut something out of your life that say you, you have a deep affinity for, that you love and care about, I almost feel like this is a necessity for you to bring this part of yourself out. Because if, it, it, well, you are the emperor. That's the sense that I got with the emperor at the bottom. So with the emperor, the emperor is a combination of all the kings, right? And our queens, emperor and empress, right? And this is who the emperor brings out when he or she wants to get shit done. Just masculine energy. I feel that that's what you're trying to embody even if you're feminine is this masculine energy to try to get shit done to try to get to the truth of things i also feel this truth that's trying to come out that you're searching for tell me about this eight of swords the hierophant now this talks about a marriage or it could be talking about some sort of commitment a higher authority this could have something to do with this decision, okay? This could also have to do with the Taurus. So this is what you're going over and over in your mind. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This is making you anxious. This is keeping you up at night. Okay, you can set yourself free. You can even do this with the Nine of Swords, okay? awareness. I feel like you're on the right track here. Clarify this eight of swords in here thought one more time. Queen of wands. I feel for some of you, you're confused as to what you want or desire to commit to. Now, this could be a passion involving career. This could be a passion involving a person. It could be both. But there's something about that action that needs to be taken that you're not taking. You're sort of stuck because you're trying to figure shit out, right? It's like you want to move ahead. You want to move ahead. You want to... The wands are very fast energy, right? You're desiring this. You're wanting to take this leap of faith. But there's a lot of shit happening. Whoever this is for. Ace of Cups. That's new love. Cancer. All right. I'm also feeling you, you need to connect with your heart space. What is this Ace of Cups? Is this new love for Cancer? Yeah. Connect with your heart space. Okay, this could also be love at a distance. This could be both. I am feeling spirit saying, connect with your heart space. Once you connect with your heart space, you're going to 
balance these masculine and feminine energies. You also need to connect with spirit, with being the number seven here, Teddy. <laughs> with being the number seven, okay? But this also indicates distance. So that's why somebody may be offering you love that is from a distance. Okay, advice. Any more advice? Advice, advice, advice. Seven of Cups. What do you want? That's what they just said. What, did it, what is it that you dream of? Stop confusing yourself. Make it simple, they're saying. Six of Wands. Okay? You will have victory over this. You will. The end is near. They just said the end is near. Okay? You will have victory over this. Will you be tired? Of course. <laughs> well, you need, you're going to need a spa day, okay? Um, do something just for you after all this shit is done, okay? Um, but there will be victory, all right? And everything will be cool. Everything will be happy because after this, whatever this is, I feel that this love comes in very quick afterwards, see? Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, an offer of love. All right, Cancer, I hope this helped. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The information can be found in the description box below. Have a good one, Cancer. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.